Canada recorded its strongest month for new permanent resident arrivals during the pandemic in June 2021, according to the Office of Immigration Minister Marco Mendicino. In a recent Globe and Mail article, the minister says, we are going to make good on our commitment to land 401,000 new permanent residents under its immigration levels plan 2021 to 2023. The Canadian government is seeking to welcome at least 401,000 new immigrants annually, beginning this year. Prior to the pandemic, this target was set at 341,000 newcomers. The plan is the most ambitious in Canada's history. Only once has Canada welcomed over 400,000 immigrants in a year. This took place in 1913. But Canadian immigration plummeted immediately after due to the onset of the First World War. The minister's office estimates that Canada welcomed over 35,000 new permanent residents in June. In follow-up email correspondence with Team GCMS, the Department of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, said its preliminary figures show Canada welcomed 35,700 immigrants last month. But Canadian immigration plummeted immediately after due to the onset of the First World War. This figure is significantly higher than Canada's totals in recent months. Canada got off to a strong start to the year. It welcomed 24,680 new immigrants in January but lost momentum in the months to follow. The country then welcomed 23,395 in February, 22,425 in March, and 21,155 in April and 17,100 in May. Altogether Canada has welcomed some 143,000 new permanent residents through the first six months of 2021 which remains well short of the pace it needs to welcome 401,000 newcomers by the end of this year. In order to achieve this newcomer target, Canada needs to land another 258,000 immigrants, an average of 43,000 per month, over the rest of the year. Welcoming this volume of immigration over the remaining six months will be difficult but there is an outside chance it can be achieved. Prior to the pandemic Canada welcomed an average of 25,000 to 35,000 newcomers per month. Immigration levels tend to be higher in the warmer months as more newcomers arrive during favorable weather conditions and leading up to the start of the academic and business calendar in September. Some 23,000 additional confirmation of permanent residents. COPR, holders are now eligible to move to Canada after restrictions on them were eased on June 21. Anyone else newly approved for permanent residence can also immediately move to Canada as a result of this easing. The minister's office told The Globe that the 45,100 permanent residence applications IRCC processed in June were the highest ever, which suggests that IRCC has the capacity to process and finalize the necessary number of applications to achieve its levels goal. There are risks along the way that could disrupt IRCC's plans. The global coronavirus situation remains volatile and things such as increased case levels and travel restrictions could get in the way. For example, Canada continues to restrict flights from its main newcomer source country, India. A prolonging of this restriction could get in the way of IRCC's goal. Further delays to COPR holder arrivals is another risk. IRCC is currently seeking to correspond with thousands of expired COPR holders to arrange their landing in Canada. This is a time-consuming process as IRCC needs to individually contact each COPR holder to ensure they have all the necessary documents to complete the immigration process. Nonetheless, the coming months should see immigration levels remain high. There also remains a strong chance that monthly immigration totals will hit record highs by the end of the year due to the combination of more overseas arrivals and in-Canada applicants completing their landings.